statement I will make to you here is the statement my Modoc told me. He said, decisions make men. In December 2008, I looked at my children, looked at my wife, looked at everybody. I said, no, I cannot continue like this. I said that I need to change the way my family is. How can I be asking Ali to give me Indomie, give me Geisha, give me bread, give me tea that I'll pay him 3,000 at the end of the month. I said, no, it cannot continue like this. I took a decision that I was going to make a hundred million in one year. I wrote it on the wall. I wrote it on my ceiling. So when I sleep, I look up at the ceiling. It's the first thing I see. When I step by the wall, it's on my wall. On this other side of my wall. On my toilet door, in and out. Everywhere I go to, I see 100 million. Until you see it in your eye, you cannot get it. My computers, every single thing was carrying I, Ubon King, only 100 million. When a target is defined, direction appears. You are sitting here suffering and punishing yourself because you have not put yourself on that target. You are selling one plot of land. Who one plot help? Don't come and tell me you are selling one plot of land. I didn't come to talk to millionaires here. I came to talk to billionaires here. Is there any billionaire in the house? Sit down, cross your legs, say you are in charge. What rubbish. You don't need money to start a business. You need brokerage. Look for somebody that has the money, somebody that needs the land, and connect them, collect your money. That old paradigm that you need money to make money. You need contacts to make money. Connect the dots. So I had my Nokia 310 phone. I love that phone. God bless that phone. That phone did everything for me. So I'll be sending bo um, bulk SMSs to people, sending uh, messages to people that if you have any security, in it, please talk to me. Out of the 2,500 people I had on my contact, I only got 50 responses. 50 responses, only four contracts in three months. That was how I survived. Stop thinking poor. Stop thinking minchomic, morbid, moribund, myopic and batter. You need to get angry with poverty. You are selling one plot of land. Who one plot help? Don't come and tell me you are selling one plot of land. I didn't come to talk to millionaires here. I came to talk to billionaires. You will become it. The picture there shows that lion was looking for food. It was hiding in the bush studying that, that zebra. When he studied the zebra, he does what they call a penetration test. It will test to see which one is weak. It is not always on the first time you hit a business. Study your market. Study, study your market. What does the market want? Who are your target? Define them. Do you want them weak? Do you want them strong? Do you want them fat? What is your market? That now you studied that zebra carefully, carefully. And then went after the, the zebra. When it had planned, he knows that at 7 a.m. they come to drink water. At 9 a.m. they go out. You know? So by 6.30, I position yourself. Have you positioned, understood your target? Where your target goes to eat breakfast? What your target goes to do at gym? If your target goes for jogging by 6 a.m., why are you not jogging by 5.49? Waiting for him to pass. Study your target. All of you live in estate. All of you are connected to people. Any morning, rich men go to jog and you are still sleeping, snoring. A poor man. A poor man. When you study your target, you know when you can catch them and you can kill them. Your problem is not your location. Your problem is your thinking. Stop talking to poor people. It's a waste of executive time. When you do that, you need to understand the sixth one. Understand the money of your business. When you make money, it is not to buy a new car. It is poor people that spend their money. Rich people invest it. Buy assets. Let your asset generate income for you. It is the money that you generate that you can use to spend. Am I talking to you? Because all of you have money. All of you have money. You have money, 10,000, 20,000. What you do with that money makes money for you. It's not for you to carry. The difference between a rich man and a poor man is not how much money they have, but what they do with the money they have. 30,000 naira, a poor man will go to the market, buy yam, buy beans, buy egg, buy plantain, buy everything, take it to the house. A rich man will not do that. A rich man will carry 15,000 naira, buy plantain, buy beans, buy whatever he needs to do. Then the remaining 15,000 naira, he has a complimentary card. He will go to a hotel, the rooftop, and go and sit down there, buy coke, chop ground up. Anybody says, ah, it's a privilege. I love your shoes, Petra. Collect complimentary card, then come back and walk on that car. 
That's how rich people behave. Stop thinking like a poor man. Stop doing that. Partnerships and buy up. Look with people. Form consortiums. Then on the last one, there are multiple streams of income. You cannot, you cannot be rich with only one source of income. You cannot. When I did my maritime security business, and then I found out that they were bringing companies to come and put fuel in my car. I started selling fuel for my car, for my vessel. A company will come and supply food for us and I'll be paying them 2.2 million every month. I said, no, 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 no. I opened a channeling company to supply food for me. My own company will supply food. I pay them 1.8. Then they'll go and sell to other people. They make money. Multiply your sources of income. The Oibo people are protected. They need to go to the airport. I open an escort company. You pay me for the escort. You pay me for the food that's entering my vessel. You pay me for security. I collect money from different sources because there are many ways to kill a rat. Can't use only one source of income. It's poor people that have only one source of income. There is no rich man that has one source of income. Dangote, dangote sugar, dangote cement, dangote sand, dangote oil, dangote this, dangote that. Bill Gates has over many. I went to an own company one day and I saw they have 68 subsidiaries. And you, you want to be rich with only one source. Open 16 companies. 16 companies. Open 16 companies. Multiply it. If you do land, if you sell land, you open a company that clears the bush. You open a company that supplies the blocks. You open a company that does this. Open companies, each one subsidiaries. Somebody may need blocks because you are stereotyped on land. You say, I'll call somebody. Why call somebody? Call yourself. Multiply the sources of income. If you can think enough, what you have is more than enough. About 10,000 youth and entrepreneurs will be in attendance. Of the greatest Nigeria students. How do you want to start your year 2020? How do you want to start your year 2020? If you are still satisfied in that place, my staff will have, so be it. Networking like you've never seen before. Tinkation has already started. It's not business as usual. We're breaking every rule. A new level of motivation in life coaching. Wakanda forever. Nothing do you. Six tribes. One body. Different expression. Register for Tinkation and join a tribe. I've been inducted in my form. Guess who? Pinkation. 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 Sweet sensation. Pinkation. It's temptation. I'm not crying. I swear to God. Say you are Pinkation and make sure you are registered. Let's break the rules. Breaking the rules.